here, back to the shop, back to the spot where the hits keep coming, stack them up like bricks. You can call me the Mason. Shout out to LB, little brother. Always will be fire to me. Always. Them first two albums is extremely classic, and the third one is fire too. But let's talk about this though. DJ, I already know what it is, man. Hit the like, subscribe, let me know what y'all think, man. Shout out to LB again, man. Beautiful morning, it's so fire. But let's talk about something else that's fire. URL, the NBA, the app NBA, I guess you could say, which is a good thing. Shout out to all the entrepreneurs doing their own thing. App only event, though. This card is fire as fuck to me. I ain't going front. This four pack of battles right here, I like. And I do expect at least one surprise battle. Maybe, maybe not, but still, I do expect one. Just a quick four. I see you're at least bringing one more. But I ain't mad if it's just the four. Because these four are fire to me. This card to me, out of ten. For me, this is a cool eight out of eight and a half. Maybe eight and three quarters. This card is dope to me. They supposed to go four for four with these battles right here. None of these are supposed to be duds. All these are supposed to be at minimum dope battles. Maybe one could be a classic. But all four of them are supposed to be dope. Let's talk about them though. I like this card, man. Nexus card. I don't know what the fuck Nexus means. But shout out to the original Nexus from WWE. Let's talk about this card though. Let's go here first. Real Deal versus Kid Chaos. Quick prediction, blog. I'm tranquil. I'm chilling in the truck. Let's talk about this real fast. Real Deal, I'm a big fan of. Big fan. I remember when he first came to URL versus B Magic. Some people didn't like the fact that he actually just beat Magic. That's how I took it. Ain't no way you talk. You, ain't no way he ain't beat Magic. He beat Magic that day. Shout out to Magic though. Magic was fire. A real deal got it. Since then, the talk was nobody wants to battle real deal. He was too dangerous. He was too dangerous. Real deal more than likely gonna win. At that time frame, he was that fire. He's still fire now. Kid Chaos, I've been a fan of. I've been a fan of. His battle with Mr. Trophies is fucking dope. Shout out to them, man. That battle is fire. He is fire. He is fire. If I had to pick someone in this battle, though, I think I'm going to have to edge the experience. I'm going to have to edge experience. I'm going to go real deal 2-1. I'm going to dope battle. Because Kid Chaos is fire. Kid Chaos is fire. I got some for that. Some trophies. Cases. Fire. But I think real deal's experience will pull him through. Real deal very substance heavy. Understands how to angle. He understands how to joke punch and he can rebuttal he has most of the tools in his shed if not all of them maybe just performance is the one thing he may not have the highest amount of but he doesn't he definitely has a lot of personality and charisma in the ring so does kid chaos and his pen is fire i'm an edge slight edge slight edge to real deal next up loso versus jack boy jack boy main I'm a huge fan of Jack Boy. Huge fan. Since the Fetty battle, the two on twos with Ryder, him and Ryder actually made one of the better two on two teams to me. In my personal opinion, they're one of the better two on two teams that I remember watching. They fire together. They cook niggas. They cook. Snake Eyes and Dougie got fried. And Fetty got fried too. The trajectory that Jack was on 
early out, we all know what it was like. We seen Jay Black shout to the GOAT, speaking about him. Before Tech passed away, rest in peace to Tech. You already know what they were saying. Jack Fire. And at least Jack, um, Jay Black thought so, and so do I. All those old school references, the energy, the performance, the aggression, and he's going through his own life situation, his own health situation, and fighting through that. And it's still fire. He's still fire. You don't see. He might make you make you not even remember that he has that situation. He fights through it so well. He battles through it so well. Shout out to Jack. Loso though. Loso. Loso below. For the past couple of battles, I feel like he's been a little bit choppy. But I'm a little choppy myself, so I don't really complain about it all that much. But in the ring, I know it's going to count. He always has good material. Win or lose. Win or lose, Loso gonna bring some shit. I gotta pick somebody though. I'm gonna go with Jack though. I'm gonna go with Jack. Loso is more angle heavy. I don't know what angle he gonna pick for Jack. Jack doesn't really have much to go by. Ain't much to go with. You go back to the John John battle and, and the chains. Those have been exhausted already. Those have been exhausted already. I feel like that was the issue with Rock. With the rock battle with Loso, he kept going to the, the, the things that were already you know, we've already passed that shit. So I don't really feel like if he goes and talking about the chain and all that type. I don't think that's gonna be effective. But Jack doing what he normally does, just being entertaining, just being full of energy, that performance, those throwback bars, those old school from the common doors to the Parliament funk punches, those be hitting. I got Jack. But in a goodie though. In a goodie. Fuck with Loso. Loso fire to me. He always has good material. But I got Jack boy. JC versus Eunice. JC versus Eunice. The OG pen, so to speak, even though it's really Lux. We already know that. But JC kind of is one of them too. JC, the OG pen against the new pen. I fuck with Eunice. Eunice brings the performance, the energy. Definitely knows how to punch. And he has he has these dope way of setting up shit to, quit, to get to what he's getting to. Those be fire, B. Those be fire. Eunice is fire, low-key. Eunice is fire, but JC been fire. And I feel like JC, his material usually comes off a little bit more substance. I will be talking about the, him in Bad News. That probably gonna be my next blog. I'm on the second round now. People made it seem like he lost, but I don't see that right now. Right now, I might be 1-1 one, one going into the third. I'm not sure. Or you up two. I don't know. But JC, a little bit more potency to what he writes. I'm going to edge this one to JC. I'm going to edge it to JC. Let's just hope Eunice has some counter writing for that angle that's been surfacing and people are beating him with a little virgin angle. Let's hope he has some counter, something counter written for it. If not, JC's already too potent and he's funny when he's ready. JC's really funny when he's ready. I got JC edging the battle though. O Red versus Swervo. I saved this one for last on purpose. O Red has been one of my favorites since Block City. O-Red is fucking fire, in my opinion. And in my opinion, O-Red is the king of volumes. O-Red ain't lost none of those battles in the volume. I don't care if it was Briz. I don't care if it was Iron. I don't care if it was Geechee. Whoever it was, he ain't lose. It's either he won or it's debatable. But he don't lose. He don't lose in volumes. And worse... He don't really be losing in smaller settings. Y'all got a problem with Red when he's on stage and he loses his voice or some shit. Well, other than that, you put Red pit style. Well prepared Red can probably beat anybody. A well prepped Red in pit style or on a smaller setting 
can beat anybody. Ored is fire, fire. He been fighting me. Give that nigga his flowers. He's dangerous. And we all know that too. At least most of us do. Swervo, he came off of L. I think they said it was against one of my hometown niggas, um, franchise. Shout out to franchise. In a surprise battle. But Swervo is dope. And we know he is. We know he is. Let's hope he's motivated and ready for this one. Because this is all red. Especially if it's not on a stage. I mean, it's in that little, new, what do they got? A new warehouse, a new factory, whatever the fuck they got there. Whatever the fuck they done put together. Whatever the fuck they done put together. Whatever they got over there. Whatever they're going to do with it. Doesn't matter. I don't see a big crowd in there. Maybe about 100 people. And that's where Red is super dangerous. I got Red winning this battle. Swervo, shout out to you. You got your hands full. Because this is Red. Red dangerous. Especially when you don't see him for a minute. I feel like he's going to be well prepped. Especially for a URL battle. Especially for a URL battle. In those small settings, this nigga is deadly. I got old red with him, but shout out to Swervo though. Swervo's fire. But I got old red with him. Get old red is flowers. Make sure y'all actually realize that nigga may be arguably the king of volumes. In my opinion, he is. In my opinion, he is. Shout out to old red. I got old red winning. Shout out to URL. This is a dope card, man. This is a dope fucking card. They should shoot four for four in this card. They should shoot four for four. My personal opinion. But that's how I'm calling it though, man. Hit the like, subscribe. Let me know what y'all think, man. DJ already know, man. One.